you know what I mean? Driving like Why an are animal. You stopped in the road then? Huh? Why are you stopped? We saw the snake. We saw a water snake about to cross the road. Just moved okay. him off. You don't have any snakes or anything in the vehicle? Get my stick! Get my stick! Get my stick! Get my stick! Oh my god. Get my stick! Water snake! Water snake! I think we found a Burmese python, y'all. In the mix, you guys hey. already know the deal. We got Terry right here. What's up? Hey, man. We got Terrence right there. What's up, guys? <laughs> Terry and Terrence. And guys, you guys are not gonna believe where we are going. We are actually going on a really crazy adventure in the middle of nowhere on search for a mythical creature. If you guys can guess where we're going and what we're going after, let me know in the comments down below. I'll give you guys a hint. It grows to be about 20 feet long. It ain't got no legs and it can eat an alligator or an iguana in one bite. Getting ready real quick, we getting Ooh. some calories oh. <laughs> in. Oh, schmack. Uh. What, what you mean there, man? Is that a stick or something? A sugar cane. Sugar cane, okay. It's like the Caribbean version of a Gatorade and a stick. And my friend Robert's here. Oh, man. Straight off the cane. Oh, whoa, he just, he just stole a bite. Yeah. Hold up. Right, Rob. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, big guy? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? doing? I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a shirt with you. Oh, no. What's up, homie? What's up, yo? What's up, man? What's up? What's up, bro? What's yo, up? ready for the night? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. So, as you guys can see, there's like five of us now, and due to limited nut space in the back cab, <laughs> we got one of our boys right here. He has his his own personal seat right here. Oh yeah. It's got seatbelts too, huh? Yeah, I'm about to make one right now. Okay. Okay, check that out right there. I mean, it could work going 45 miles per hour. Yeah. Can't forget our friend back there. He's just chilling. That's what we need right there, y'all, to go in the Everglades. Look at that thing right there. All I need now is a hot girl getting like, go ahead on the way. She'll be like, oh. Big old monster truck. Oh my god. Video of Robert trying to handle one of these wild Burmese right here, but he was short-handed because it was just him all by himself, no light, and the snake was super aggressive, bit him, and then eventually got away right there. See, just like that, within an instant, the snake disappears. But tonight, we're going back out in the Everglades, trying to get some revenge, and who knows, even try to catch a bigger Burmese python, y'all. Believe it or not, y'all, it is actually starting to drizzle right now. Terry just asked him if he wanted to come in, and Terrence was like... Nah, I'm good. I'm emergencies or anything. Emergencies, yeah. Do it. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Giant snakes. We're, we're going to be dealing with alligators. Wild boars can be out there. Anything can happen. Anything can happen at Last any moment. Last time, the second time I went there, we went all the way down to the road, turned around, and I can't believe it was a ten, like around 10, 11 foot crocodile in the middle of the road. Told you. It's insane. <laughs> 10, 11 foot crocodile in the world. Snake orgies happening in Florida right it. now, y'all. They're breeding. On four miles, those they is straight uh, punching right now, y'all. Trying to catch a real. Yeah, they're gonna be on the road, so it's so hot, so warm. I seen the eye shine right out here. What could what could have eye shine right now out here? Alligators. A lot of light bugs out here. Light bugs, yeah. Okay, watch out. He's right over here, dude. Oh, this is where we see a big one at, yeah. Where he's at? He's right over here. Oh, I see him. That's a nice. So look, right now, Iguana Man spotted this nice six, seven footer alligator. Say a couple years old. Not too big, not too small. He's going away right now. Oh my gosh. Look at all those fish that were next to him. Nice bluegills. Yeah, they sure. were yeah. That size alligator is enough size to take a grown man down. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Take. So guys, check out all these fish that were next to him as well. Dang, okay. Look, bass, cichlids. You said you seen a catfish? Yeah, those baby catfishes. Oh, no, they, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, look. Look at that. Look at his whiskers. All right. Oh my god, there goes another one right there. So dude, that means this whole place is probably like straight infested with alligators right now, of course, huh? Yeah. What was that? Probably a little bad. Look at that, there's fish on top of the water. Look at that. What are the Oscars? I don't know. Gars? They look like, they gars. Look like little gars for real. Dang. So are we allowed to fish over here or what? Yes, yeah, so you can fish over here. And we can catch all these fish. Look at this guy. So many different species. 
we have some native species we have some invasives look there goes a jaguar cichlid right there y'all this is insane well this is not bad for our first start we're only four minutes into the ever we're only two, four minutes four into minutes our adventure as robert just said and we already had our first encounter with an american alligator low beams are better Coming. His tongue is flickering slowly. A nice garter snake. Mainly feed on small lizards. Maybe small mice if they can get their hands on it. It was on the road for heat because it's really chilly out right now. It's not a bad like injury, but still, he still got hit by a car. We're just gonna let nature take its course. And wish him the best of luck. See ya, buddy. At least we know his activity out here with the snakes. <laughs> On this off road, real quick. That is a Goliath right there. You see that? Yeah, so. Oh. So right here, we don't have nothing. Swallow the bug. Do you want to go to the right trail? See that right now? Like, no, 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 like if I do this. Whoa. I don't know where I'm going. right here. Yeah? So, oh yeah, yep, there they go. Well, I'm not a grab pipe. There's wind, bro. I think they're I think they're breeding, dude. They're mating. All right, let's go, guys. That is a lot of bugs. I need a burger. I really hope I don't hit him. Oh my gosh. Right here we have a baby water moccasin that got hit sometime tonight. What type of venom do these things have? Is it like neurotoxic, hematoxic? Hematoxic. So basically it'll hit him. The veins. As a matter of fact, guys, hang on. Look right here. His eyes popped out and his eyes like sitting right here. That's where he got hit. Even with this snake being dead, it could still possibly envenomate somebody, yes. huh? Yes. So the thing is poisonous? Yeah, venomous. Yeah. The veins are right. Oh my. lizard or a mouse comes by just go ahead and snap it and venom it wait till it dies instead but right here it got hit and if you take its like nose and pull it back this is actually how the snake looks when it goes in for a strike then nose comes back like that unfolds and that's exactly what you'll see or the last thing you might be able to see so right there mm -hmm. even though this snake is dead you guys it's still very potent if you were to get bit by that snake you would need immediate medical attention uh, look at that right there that is absolutely insane the fact but oh, they were too late on this one wait it's in front i see it oh oh my god no way no way oh my god dude look at this thing we got oh it died it's a milk snake no, oh, no, that's a wait. No, it's a scarlet king snake. Yeah, yeah. It's a scarlet king snake. Red touches black. It's friend with jet. Red touches yellow. Kills a fellow. Is when the yellow touches the black bands, it's okay to like catch and handle. But when the red touches the yellow, you don't want to mess with that. That's a coral snake. Coral snakes have neurotoxic venom, and when you get bit by one of those guys, it affects your nervous system. It could potentially paralyze you. And those snakes are in the family of elapids, and that encompasses cobras, black mambas sea snakes, inland taipans, and they have very potent venom. So it's a beautiful snake species. It got ran over by a car, yes. But it's my first time seeing one in the wild. Another species right over here. 
So what do these things eat? I mean, I'm guessing rats because it's their name. Yes. Um, rats, fish, frogs. Pretty rats, much anything fish. that like moves. I think cats are very fast and agile snake. And these snakes are in the water. They're mostly like in the brush, like in like the dense like grass and like foliage. And crazy thing about rat snakes too, when when they get a little bigger, they're able to eat birds. They'll go after birds. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow. Sweet. Sweet. Coming on to it. Look at that. Get my stick, get my stick, get my stick, get my stick! Oh my god. I think we found a Burmese python, y'all. Oh! Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey. Here we go. This thing's gonna bite me. This thing's gonna bite. This thing's gonna bite. Oh! Easy. Easy. You're alright. You're alright. You're alright, girl. Calm down. Calm down. This thing's, this thing's mean. You don't want to get bit by this guy. I'm next. Alright. I'm just fooling with it right now. I don't want to get bit. I'm just trying to take it easy. There we go. There we go. Easy, girl. You alright? Alright, so come here, Terrence. Check this out. This snake actually got hit by a car. And she survived. Car's coming. And the car's coming. Car. All right. Just, just. So yeah, as you guys saw, that car was flying down the road. So we potentially rescued the snake, but she looks pretty mad. I want to try to like get her to a position where I can work with her. But all she wants to do is bite right now. Easy, girl. Easy, easy. Calm down. She's a bit smarter than I thought. She's uh, anticipating my hand movement. Is she is she healthy or did she get hit by a car? No, well, if you come over here and zoom in, that little marking right there is usually where like the guts spew out of a snake when they get hit by a car. But it looks like it healed over, so miraculously, a snake probably like survived a car strike. And she also has like a little bit of like uh, it looks like a little bone sticking out right here, probably from a rib cage. So she's she's a big snake and she survived. We rolled up on it and instantly I thought it was a a python or a water moccasin. Water moccasins generally have their heads up like this when they're on the, the ground. But this girl, wow, she looked like she actually uh, took on the characteristics of a dangerous snake in Florida. Come on, girl, don't bite. Come on. Okay. Yeah, right now the snake is uh, very, very uh, afraid, and it's a rapid tongue flickering she's doing right now. And when you catch a snake from the wild like this, she's pretty calm right now, so I could probably just let her go. When you catch a snake from the wild like this, they're gonna wanna strike at you. And when they strike, you're gonna instantly try to pull your hand back because you're afraid. You're gonna instantly wanna pull your hand back because you're afraid. But in that scenario, you're mimicking what a predator would do in, 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 in real life. So when you grab a snake, just like swallow your fear, get up close to it, and just work with it slowly. Don't try to jerk it around, don't make any fast movements because in time, the snake's gonna realize that you're not a predator and it won't bite you. But the snake looks pretty aggressive now, so I might wanna be careful because these guys have a nasty bite. That, see? Now she's coiled up. She might go for a little strike. And slow movements like this, guys, is the way to calm down a snake. Watch the tongue flickering. Rapid tongue flickering means that the snake is actually a bit scared. See that? Slow, methodical movements just like that will get your snake calmed down. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's green in there. And the brown is usually a lot more darker than that. I see yeah. the hues of green right there. I saw her mouth open like she wanted to go for an exploratory oh bite. Oh my gosh. Probably. He doesn't want to attack. Oh my gosh. Oh. You? When you see like multiple flickering, that's the equivalent of us looking around and blinking a lot to like decipher where we are and what's going on. Same thing with the snake. But yeah, her tongue flickers are few and far between right now. She's really calm. Her muscles are, aren't that uh, active. So she's not tensed up ready to strike. She's docile. She probably realized we're not like a threat, like a predatory threat or anything like that. She's yeah. Oh wow, look at that. And she's gone. Just like that. Oh y'all, troller out here. Uh oh. Uh oh y'all. How you, how, you how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nothing. Driving. Why are you stopped in the road then? Huh? Why are you stopped? We saw the snake. 
saw water thing about the crossroads. Just moved okay. off. You don't have any snakes or anything in the vehicle? No. no. Sir? No, any snake sticks, anything like no, that? No, no snake sticks, no snake no. hooks. You guys camping no local or are you just camping tonight? Um, local. Local? Okay, yeah. cool. No snakes, nothing, camera, sir? Nope, yep. just camera, sir. 